Hi guys. Oh my god, I have a dog biting my foot, please. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute and what is going on back here? I'm at my friend's apartment right now. I'm dog sitting. Oh, this is Ozzy. He's kind of being irritating. He's biting me. Okay, and eating my hair apparently. <clears throat> nice. So today I am finally doing my 100K subscriber special video. I hit 100K back in March, I believe, and I've been working on this video for honestly a year now. I've been making this bracelet for so long. I actually finished it a few months ago, but I've just been really busy and just not motivated. So I decided for my 100K subscriber special, I would make a bracelet that is 100 strings. What it? Okay. Like, what are you doing? So that's what we're doing today. So this is gonna be a not with me video on a 100 string bracelet. The pattern I used will be linked down below if you guys wanna check it out. And I'm gonna shut up and let's just get into the video. All right, you guys. So since we decided to go ahead and make a 100 string bracelet, I'm gonna go ahead and need to find a pattern. I did already take some time off camera to go through a bunch of patterns and figure out which one I was going to make. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the Mabel one. The one thing I did wanna do was I wanna figure out what background color I should use because I like this brown, but I don't really have the right color for that. So this is blue, which totally changed the, changes the whole vibe of this pattern. It was very like gloomy before and now it seems really bright. All right, so I have all my colors picked out right here. So this is going to be her hair color, her skin color, black for the outlining, white for her eyes, gray for her braces, yellow for her star earrings, purple for her sweater, pink for her rosy cheeks, and then these are the colors I'm gonna be using for the leaves that are in her hair. And I'm gonna be using this thread for the background. My first step is going to be to cut all my base strings and attach them to my wooden dowel. This is going to take me absolutely forever, but let's just go ahead and get started. Also, it is August 31st at noon, so let's see how long this entire project is gonna take me. Can we please just ignore the fact that it's been literally a year since I started this bracelet, okay? Better late than never, okay? All right, you guys, so I attached all my base strings, all 100 of them. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and just get started on knotting this. All right, so what's up, you guys? I'm sorry. It's the mofo voiceover, get lit. I don't know what I'm on, I'm sorry. I thought a lot about what I was gonna talk about in this voiceover. It's like eight minutes or so of just sped up time-lapsed footage. But I think to start, I'm gonna go ahead and answer some questions I already know I'm gonna get about this. I've been doing this for four years, so. I, I don't know what y'all are gonna ask me. Number one is how long did this bracelet take me? So I've thought a lot about it and I could not keep track. This took me months and months and months to make. So I kind of lost track, but I will say each row took me about 20 to 30 minutes and there's a hundred rows. So I want to say like 50 hours, you guys, like 50, five zero hours I spent on this thing. I thought I would also talk about kind of just like my whole journey on YouTube as a whole and just kind of how I got here and everything that is just kind of happened. I am sure y'all remember like 2019 Visco Girls, all that, all that mess. I actually posted a TikTok on kind of how to make a chevron bracelet and that was my first ever video and it actually went viral. I, I think now it's at like 600K views, which is so crazy. I honestly did not expect that video to go viral. I did not think that it would get the views that it did, but it did. And I gained, I think I gained like nine or 10,000 followers like that night. And yeah, it just kind of kept going from there and people were commenting, they like wanted more and after like a week or two, people started commenting, asking if I was gonna be making a YouTube channel, if I would make YouTube videos. My response was always like, yeah, people want me to, but I wasn't actually like, I didn't think that people actually would want me to, but people were actually like, yes, like, please, please make YouTube videos. And I was like, dang, okay. 
like sure so i ended up posting a video and i posted like a couple i just posted like basic ones like arrowhead letter bracelets heart bracelet chevron like just like the basics and then I kind of just stopped because I honestly only thought that the people watching my YouTube videos were just people from TikTok. Like I just thought the people that knew me from TikTok were the only ones that were going to be watching my videos, but people were actually like discovering me through YouTube and they didn't know that I had a TikTok. And it was just like, I just did not expect that at all. And it started to like really pick up a lot more than I thought it would. I was for real going to just like stop posting because again, I thought that only people from TikTok were interested and I thought that it would just kind of die down and people wouldn't care anymore, but it kept going. And so I was like, dang, I gotta stop messing around. And I really like set that up and started recording and like posting so much more. And y'all, I was, I was low key a machine. I was posting so many videos, but honestly, I feel like I've changed and I've grown so much through YouTube and my videos, please don't watch my old videos. They were so awful. Like they were actually terrible. And I feel like the quality is so much better now, but honestly, it's all thanks to you guys. Like, thank, thank you to the person who comments on my videos saying that they just sound so quiet because you're so right. Why were they so quiet? Like turn the volume up, please. I also feel like I've gotten so much better at making bracelets since I started my YouTube channel. Like I've learned so many like new techniques and, and things like that, that I didn't even know about before, but because bracelets got so popular and you guys were like requesting videos on how to do certain things i was like dang i gotta learn how to do this so i could show y'all so i feel like i've just improved like so much and it's just because of youtube i would not be where i am or be who i am if it wasn't for youtube and for you guys i'm interrupting this video for a brief intermission because i got a package from youtube I ordered my YouTube play button and this is insane! It's so bright. What? Okay. What is happening? What is happening? There's a little letter from YouTube. Do you remember your first subscriber? Your 100th, your 1,000th subscriber? Chances are you do. And we know that you'll definitely remember your 100,000th subscriber. We are thrilled to see the development of your community and are proud to honor your impressive milestone of reaching 100,000 subscribers with the Silver Creator Award. There's a little card. This award was inspected and packaged with great care by Rick. Okay, Rick, thank you. I really appreciate it. Oh my gosh, here it is. You can see the reflection. Wow, it's like, is it metal? I can't, it's cold, so I, I think it must be metal. What the heck, this is so cool! And for Kinsey B, for passing 100,000 subscribers, this is insane. I never thought in my life that I would be holding one of these. This is just absolutely unreal. Thank you guys so much for everything. This is truly incredible, and this is, this is so cool. Where should I put it? I'll just put it there for now so we can all look at it together. But like, what? Anyways, I love you. Thank you guys. And yeah, you know, we're on year four of, you know, doing YouTube and doing social media. You know, I stopped posting on TikTok. I tried to post again, but I feel like just the aesthetic or like the vibe of TikTok videos has changed so much since like I was active on TikTok and I just have not like adapted to like that new like style of filming, but I want to try again. I don't know. I just feel like bracelets aren't as popular anymore so i don't really know if it would be like worth it i guess and i don't know i just i feel really bad a lot of the time because i feel like i don't post as consistently or as often as i would really like to i feel like part of the reason why is because i didn't like want to do youtube like you know how people are like oh i want to be a youtuber i i have this passion to make videos like that's not really me i kind of just was almost like thrown into it. Not that I'm complaining at all because this has seriously been like such an incredible part of my life, but I just feel like that passion, it's really lacking in me a lot of the time and that motivation to like do it. And I don't know, I, I definitely feel really bad a lot of the time because I feel like you guys deserve better. <laughs> but I, I can definitely sit here and recognize that there are so many people that would absolutely kill to be in the position that I'm in. So I'm, I'm very grateful and I'm very fortunate for the audience that I have and the opportunities that I have and just 
everything going on I, i'm seriously so grateful to you guys for everything and i think another reason why uh, as to why i don't post as much is because my videos take me a long time to make even just like the basic like tutorials or things like that they take me like a good minute it's really hard for me to just like sit down and like film a video in a day and then post it the same day like i'm just not one of those lifestyle youtubers that just like can film a haul film a story time film a makeup tutorial real quick edit it and post it like I sit and I spend at least a couple days, sometimes weeks, even months, sometimes filming my videos. And it's just hard to like keep that momentum going or keep that motivation going to like continue to film, continue to put an effort. Like, you know, sometimes the inspiration goes away or the motivation goes away. It just, it can be a little hard sometimes is all. But regardless of all the issues that I might be having y'all, this is seriously just such a cool job that I get to do. And just thank you guys so much for always supporting me. And, and I see y'all's comments. I see you guys commenting saying you miss me. I miss you guys too. And I, I wanna come back, I really do, but Thank you guys so much for everything. Again, I, I seriously cannot thank you guys enough for just everything you've done for me. I love you guys so much. I seriously feel like I don't deserve you guys a lot of the time just for how inconsistent I am. I just, again, I said it before, but you guys definitely deserve better and I will definitely try to work on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and close out this voiceover. We're wrapping up the end of this bracelet and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Love you guys. All right, so I went ahead and finished off the bracelet. Oh. Dang, I hope y'all can see the quality improvement. I actually got a new phone since filming this video. I have the 14 Pro Max before I had the 11 Pro Max. So this is an improvement, but y'all, the quality, the quality, it's so good. So I just added this top bit and then I just did some knots at the bottom here and then just cut it off. I didn't really know how else to end it. I feel like this looks pretty good though, but yeah, this is it fully complete. And here's the back. I cannot even explain like how, how big this thing is. It's actually huge, <laughs> but I'm so happy that it's actually finally done. And I hope you guys like how it turned out. I, I love it so much. So that was the video. Here is the finished product. It is literally so massive. It's literally crazy how big this is. This is the biggest thing I've ever made ever with bracelets. So this is so cool. And I don't know, it's just a really cool accomplishment. I feel like people are probably gonna ask if I'm gonna be selling this. The answer is no, because if I were to sell this, I would probably list it for like at least 250 and like who's gonna spend 250? No one. So no, I'm gonna keep it for myself. But <laughs> thanks again, you guys. This journey has been so incredible and just so unexpected and i never thought that i would ever be here i never thought that i would still be making videos four years later and i don't know you guys are amazing and thank you so much for supporting me and watching me and commenting and everything and i just love you guys so much and i got more videos on the way so thank you guys for watching thank you so much for 100k i love you all so much and i will see you guys next time bye ozzy says bye too